Um, and uh, our presenter is going to be Bonnie Lott. Uh, my name is David Walker. I'm the director of the Shasta Cascade Small Business Development Center. And like I uh, try to say before each one of these, these webinars are free, but that doesn't mean you don't get to listen to a commercial. So, uh, so uh, here you go. The um, Shasta Cascade Small Business Development Center, we're a nonprofit organization. We are funded by the Small Business Administration and the state of California. We cover Shasta and Trinity counties in Northern California. But if you're in the United States, uh, there is an SBDC that covers your area. Uh, SBDC, Small Business Development Centers, are all over the United States. And uh, the SBDCs are here to help small businesses. They provide no cost uh, advisory services for small businesses, confidential, uh, and uh, you get advice from uh, people who have actually done this stuff. Uh, they're uh, experts in the areas that we advise in for entrepreneurs and small businesses. We also do these webinars, which are almost all of our uh, workshops are free. The only time we charge is when we have to cover for a lunch or something, but we're not paying you lunch this time, so this one's free. Uh, <laughs> and so wanted to make sure you understood that, uh, a little bit about us. There is another thing. There are a lot of services available to you, whether you realize it or not, that are free for you as a small business. Many of them are funded by the Small Business Administration. And on October 13th, we're going to be doing a one-hour event with the SBA that will talk about these free services. We're going to have uh, some of them available uh, for you for uh, Q&A during that time. And you can sign up for that at our website, sbdcsc.org, Small Business Development Center, Chester Cascade, sbdcsc.org, and go to the calendar. It's on October 13th at 9 in the morning. You will be getting a copy of this presentation at the end. And uh, the other thing that I need to tell you is nothing. <laughs> uh, we are expecting a lot of people here, so please put your comments and questions in the chat, and, uh, and we'll get to them when we can. This is our disclaimer. This basically says that uh, what we're going to tell you is not financial and legal advice. We're not CPAs and we're not attorneys. So if you listen to this and then you decide you need to go out and buy stock in Enron or something, it's not our fault. That's basically what this thing says. You'll be getting a copy of it along with the rest of the um, of the presentation at the end. So with that, I'll turn it over to Lonnie. Right. Thanks, David, and welcome everybody. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this workshop, it, this webinar. It is a pretty robust uh, webinar, and I, um, the agenda is going to be, I'm going to say a little bit about myself, uh, then the benefits of using digital marketing tools, which is probably a no-brainer for most of us out there, since we're all probably operating somewhat in a virtual reality since the um, pandemic. Um, and or you may have already been a very robust virtual uh, based business and more power to you. Um, I'm going to provide about it's over 25 because I just couldn't stop. I just kept digging and finding more and thinking maybe this would be useful. So I am not an expert in every single one of these 25 plus um, low to no cost digital marketing tools that I'm going to share with you. What I have done is I have gone through and vetted majority of the ones that I feel can add some value to your digital marketing strategy. Some of them you may have already be using and find them very useful. Other ones may be ones you might want to explore. But by far, I do not use all of these. I use a few of them and I will let you know which one those are because I'm very comfortable with those. I'm not gonna go into every single feature that all 25 have, explain how to get on them, how to use them. Um, and that is for uh, the rest of the story. But because we would be here for 10 hours and it, we had a lot to cover in uh, the one hour. Um, what I would like you to do 
during the presentation, because we're not going to ask for questions till the end or comments, if you have used a tool that um, I've mentioned and you want to leave a comment about it for the rest of the group, go ahead and type it in the chat. Um, or if you have another tool that pops in your mind when I'm talking about a certain one, add that URL link or the name of the tool into the chat. We are going to record this um, webinar. You will be getting the uh, PowerPoint decks and I'm gonna take all of those comments and if they're relevant and have comments about the digital marketing tools or other ones, I'm gonna include it in the end of the, of the PowerPoint presentation so you will have all of the information everybody shares. If we opened up our mics at the end of this, um, we will just not have time. So we'll just uh, keep it that you type it in the chat. That'd be great. Me, some of you probably have already been on a few of the webinars that I've uh, presented. If not, welcome. I'm really glad to virtually meet you. I am the president of LL Consulting. I've had my own consulting uh, business for 25 plus years. I focus on economic development and downtown revitalization, as well as advising for um, uh, the Shasta Cascade as a small business development center and a few other SBDCs across California. I specialize in all areas. Um, and since the pandemic and pivoting, I'm, a, I'm specializing in webinars. I typically do these in person, but folks, um, right now you get to see me virtually and hopefully someday again in person when we are all coming back together for workshops. So I'm gonna stop my video because I find it distracting when I watch people that are all over the page using their hands and their arms like I do. So I'm gonna stop my video and I'm gonna jump right in. So really, why should we consider using uh, digital marketing tools? Well, basically right now, it is our only connection. Um, although rolling this forward seven months since the shelter in place, many businesses have slowly started to open up and provide in-person opportunities, whether that is in um, a professional business, in their office with social distancing and um, taking precautions. So, but, in, but for the most part, digital marketing tools, um, you know, it helps enhance our communication, our regular uh, vert, um, digital communication with our customers, with our employees, with our teams, with our vendors, with our suppliers, with our networking. Um, partners. Um, so, you know, for the, for during the pandemic, of course, the virtual tools such as Zoom, like we're using today, um, email, which thank goodness we all have, has been a key piece of, of uh, keeping our business moving forward. So communication, customer service, um, right now, um, you know, and we have for a long time, or not a long time, but for many years, um, many larger businesses have used customer service, digital tools for their customer service, whether that's a live chat or uh, direct messaging. Um, so it does help provide customer service, um, right, uh, enhances customer service enhanced visual content with social media being a primary marketing strategy that many uh, businesses are using and enhancing that social media, whether you're enhancing it because you're using Instagram or you're using YouTube with the video aspects or you're using um, Facebook business page, your e-commerce. So there's lots of tools out there that help us enhance the visual content of our uh, digital marketing um, strategies. It keeps your team engaged, assists with market research, which is really key now as we are been pivoting, recovering, coming back partially, um, however we're calling it, just, you know, I call it just uh, trying to figure out what today is going to bring. So we're really using it a lot with surveys, um, focus groups, doing a lot on virtual, on market research. What are our customers wanting? How are they engaging with us? What, what is their plans for the future? Of course, I talked about social media and enhancing the visual content, but uh, also managing your social media platforms. With as many options that are out there, it's very hard for a small business owner to be able to consistently manage all their platforms. 
you know, scheduling the post, managing the responses. So there's a lot of tools that help combine all your social media platforms and help you at one in one location, look at how they're doing, how they're performing, and enhancing um, how you deliver them. Helps us stay organized, more efficient and productive. And then finally, um, does help support prospecting leads in the sales funnel, especially with LinkedIn sales navigator tool, a lot of those type of um, opportunities because uh, literally not only were a lot of our <clears throat> in uh, storefront businesses and restaurants and non-essential businesses sheltered in place and closed down and slowly reopening, but you know, there's no, networking, in-person networking opportunities, a lot of the conferences that um, uh, business to business folks go to were canceled, postponed, turned virtual. So, you know, all of these virtual tools have helped all areas of businesses. So let's just dive right in. Now I kind of categorize these for you so it'll be a little easier. So the mark, this first area I'm gonna talk about is industry research, right? Research is really important. We're always wanting to know how we're doing. So the first one I kind of came up with is called Data Data Scrape. And this is a free um, Chrome extension that allows you to download any form of data from a website. It extracts the data out of the HTML web pages and imports it into a Microsoft L, um, Excel spreadsheet. So basically, you know, you can extract names and phone numbers from an online directory. You just define your filters and then download the spreadsheet. You can get 500 page scrapes <laughs> per month with the free tool. And then um, they have a paid uh, plan, which is you know, 20 to 200 a month, depending on what else and how many more you want to use, um, you need to extract. So if you are looking at wanting to, do, you know, build and uh, uh, you have a website that has a lot of emails and then you want to make some calls, you want to use it for market research, this would be a tool for you. Think with Google. Um, this is free. It's a tool to help you see exactly what your audience is searching for online. It shows you searches, what searches are trending, offers audience insights and information about the products and brands people are looking for in a specific category. As we know about Google, it's a powerful, powerful um, uh, platform and they have a lot of uh, um, tools that are free um, and then some that do cost, but uh, this Think with Google is one that you may wanna look at if you're looking at industry research. It also provides some shopping insights. You can explore to see what products and brands are popular in your category. Um, it helps retailers understand what shoppers want. Um, daily search data for 55 plus products, 45,000 plus brands in nearly 5,000 categories across the U.S. You can explore what shoppers are looking for, compare competing products in your category, discover local de uh, demand for your brands and products. So if you're a, a you know, a a data geek and you just like to get into that, all that market research numbers and stuff, these are probably two of the really good tools for you to kind of look at. As we advise for clients, we provide information and recommendations of areas that you know our clients need to market research and then we'll lead them to places. We don't do it for them um, necessarily, but these are the places where you would want to go if you're wanting to see if your how your brands um, your products are competing in the, in the uh, marketplace. And then you could bring that information back to us and we could help kind of decipher it, kind of figure out how it applies to your business model. So these are really helpful sites. Um, the digital marketing tools for um, key word search and SEO. We have a fabulous advisor on our team that just did a regional workshop on uh, SEO and he's really, really knowledgeable about it. And I would recommend that you look for that webinar as well as he may be doing one on keyword search. But Google Keyword Planner is free. It's a great tool for beginners offering basic competitive data. Keyword Planner will show you a range of average monthly searches and the competition level for keywords you enter, plus it will suggest relevant keywords to um, explore. And there's the, um, the URL for that. Um, then Moz, I think I'm saying that right, M-O-Z, Moz. <laughs> 
could be saying it wrong, sorry, is free with some upgrade options. This tool is to monitor your site, check keywords, do keyword searches, or check your site's domain authority. Um, their free version of the tool allows for 10 keyword queries a month, and then you could upgrade the plan starting at 79 a month if paid annually, which allows for 150 search queries. Of course, any tool in that you're going to invest in, you want to make sure it's the right tool, you know how to use it, follow the tutorials, um, if they do provide some uh, you know, support, some online customer service support, um, really helpful. Um, I know, you know, it's when we talk about it at this level, they all sound really easy. You're just going to plock it in and it's going to work for you. Well, it's not always necessarily that way. So, you know, do know that advisors across uh, the SBDC networks in your region or, or even in our uh, Shasta Ca Cascade region, um, that we have a lot of advisors that are very um, experienced in specific areas like uh, SEO and keyword search. So Sam Rush, is a monthly fee. It's an all-in-one marketing tool to be able to not only do your keyword search, but also help you track how your site is doing, uh, whether that's by tracking keyword positions, site analysis, analytics, excuse me, or backlinks. You can also use uh, SEMrush to review organic search rankings for your keywords and see what the competitors are doing. Um, and this one, I know I watched a webinar with um, someone who was setting up um, Google Ads, and they use SEMrush to really see and kind of design keywords with what maybe some of the, you can see what the national discounters, or excuse me, your national corporate businesses, branded businesses, what keywords they're using, so you can kind of align your keywords in your Google Ads. So they said this is uh, definitely, if you do a lot of Google Ads, this is definitely um, um, a digital tool that you may want to consider. And don't forget, if any of you are using these and you want to just add them in the chat box, that'd be great. Um, Otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next one. Now we're going to switch into content design. And this is where probably I use more of the digital tools because I'm assisting businesses and, and, and training on, you know, a lot of social media platforms and the content, 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 and visual content, key content, different content. So content design. The first one is uh, Canva. Canva? Canva? This is free. They do have paid op options. Um, and like with many of these digital tools, the free just gives you maybe some limited features. You may want to need uh, to go deeper in and, and consider the paid feed, uh, option, but it's a web-based design tool you can use to create unique images to share on your blogs, social networks, and beyond. You can create completely unique images from scratch or to polish up some photos that you already have on hand. Unsplash is free and it is one that I use um, quite regularly because I am uh, always looking for some content to include in my webinars or on assisting in some maybe Facebook um, or Instagram or, you know, um, across uh, my website for some images that aren't specifically about my business but are more general and this offers over a million free high resolution images brought to you by the world's most generous community photographers that's straight from their website and you can see this down on the right hand side this is upsplash and it is um, you put in there what you're searching for now they don't have everything in there like, you know, I put in there um, Halloween window display and um, something to pop up and it may be appropriate for what I want to use. It may not. It does kind of pop up on the screen. You can give credit to the photographer in your image if you want to, but it's not required. The one thing I have found about Upslash is, uh, and like with a lot of design, content design, is that it's a very large um, document right it's very large picture because the image is the, is really clear so you just want to be aware of that um, as you're as you're using it and creating if there's any limitations on how large your images can be pex bay is free and it has over 1.8 million plus high quality stock images and videos um, so that's 
a really good resource. And then the noun project, it's free, but you must give credit if you use, um, has icons available for download and you can even use them in Google Docs and slides. So those are a few of the uh, content design. Um, continue on. Uh, Again, content design. Now, PicMonkey, I had never heard of this one until I started to kind of, you know, do this research. Man, I learned a lot too, because, you know, it's like Pandora's box or the rabbit hole. You go down here and then you want, and then you want to learn about another one and another one. And pretty soon you've got 500 digital tools at your fingertips. So PicMonkey, easy to use editing and design toolkit for creating stunning visuals quickly. You can edit photos plus design with video and it can create stylish graphic design. So when you see some of the images coming through Instagram or you see them coming through um, uh, Facebook or the LinkedIn or YouTube or whatever the platforms are, these are some of the tools that those businesses are using to give it that really polished professional look. I always say, remember, you've got to kind of know what your personality, your social media personality is, what your marketing personality is, and then create around that. But we always want it to be a, you know, a high resolution. We want no misspelled words. We want it to have quality um, content, you know, when you're designing. So these are the, those type of tools. Um, Feel more go free with upgrade options. Easy, easily one of the best high quality video editing phone apps. It allows you to quickly trim a video clip, create subtitles and text, speed up the content, add filters, and add overlays. It is available both for iOS and Android. So again, if, if you're using your uh, mobile for a lot of your videos, you're going to be using that for taking videos for your Facebook business page, or you're using it for Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, all of these, this might be a tool for you to look at. Um, okay, content planning, different than design. Now we're planning, right? <laughs> because when we always, if any of you have taken any of my other webinars, I'm like, content, content, content. You got to post daily. Well, where do I, you know, how do I plan all that? How do I find it? Um, so Google Drive is free. This helps you um, collaborate on, on documents in real time, organize content plans, keep track of content performance data, and more. You, it, you must have a Gmail account in order to get to the Google Drive. Now, I'm going to say that as a consultant that is freelance, you know, I'm my own business. I'm not hired under, I mean, I am hired, but um, I don't work for a corporation where I have to use a uh, internal type of sharing drive, like an S drive or something like that. Um, and so Google Drive gives me the ability as a consultant that's working with clients that we can share different documents through the Google Drive so we don't have to download it. Um, and then, you know, have it on my hard drive, but then I have to, you know, email it out, especially if they're large documents. So, uh, like for um, a coalition that I am part of, that is across the Southwest, that we're located in all uh, the uh, five states in the Southwest, and we have um, uh, weekly meetings and we want to share documents, the Google Drive has become a key uh, place for us to be able to share those documents, those plans, those um, uh, press releases, whatever it is we're looking at, and have it all be in one location, right? So we can, all of us can access it from our various um, home businesses or offices that are in another state. Trello is free. It's a project management tool that makes it easy to plan content for dragging tasks between columns. You can create unlimited project boards with a free account. So this could be one that um, someone uses. And then Dropbox. Now I used I use Dropbox quite a bit because um, in the past, um, if we're sharing a large uh, PowerPoint presentation that has all, you know, a lot of images, um, it may not email clean across 
to other folks' emails, or it may get stuck on mine because I use a Mac and who knows, after you know, 10 megabytes or 14 megabytes, it doesn't send. Nothing's worse than it sitting in your outbox. So Dropbox is a place that you can drop it in. You're not using up all your space. Other people can access. We use it quite a bit for the um, SBDC uh, when we're sharing our webinars and or wanting to um, you know, share uh, like documents. So I have found that Dropbox is um, one that I've used and I still have and I use it for a number of clients. Plus, if you learn, if you, uh, you know, it is cloud-based. So if your little desktop or your laptop take, you know, unfortunately, something happens to it, um, your documents are still in the cloud. So you can access it through your Dropbox account. Um, yes, it is free for the first two gigs. After that, they do have a business um, update. Okay, so these again are back, oh, back to content design. I guess I got that slide out of order. I do apologize for that. So we're gonna go back to design. <laughs> I have to change that one before I send it out. Um, this one, uh, Mag Magnus 2, is an excellent tool if your content goal is making videos for social media. It's specifically designed for social platforms and the company is an official partner of Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So this is one that's uh, $5 a month for a basic plan. So you can explore that, look at that. Then Canvas, um, uh, Canvas Photo Editor is free. It's a photo editor with 90 plus effects and settings. Just upload your photo, edit it, and save it to your computer. So you can um, enhance and make me make some changes to your um, photos if you're not using Photoshop or some other type of tool. And then uh, Vicello is a free with limited is free with limited features, and then the basic starts at eleven a month. You can create high quality charts, infographics, and business visualizations for uh, free in in seconds. I've used this tool for um, for the infographics, taking a lot of different information. And if you just you know. Google infographics, you'll just pop up like, you know, all over the place. So these are really great if you've done um, type of uh, market research, you have a lot of different information and you want to boil it down so it's real simple, it's kind of catchy, get all of that data into an infographic so then you can post it, you can send it out. We used it for um, last year, uh, yeah, my uh, one home is in Arizona and I work for a a client that we do um, some lobbying during legislation and so we developed an infographic to uh, present to our legislators so it was one really uh, professional looking design that had the key points from the poll that we took so they didn't get you know pages and pages of just text it was something down and dirty that they could see really quick content curation so scoop it free, an awesome tool for easily finding and sharing unique, relevant content to your social media networks, blogs, and more. Um, you know, we're continuously needing to fill our content calendars with content um, to keep up with competition and reach as much out as audience as possible. Um, however, we don't always have the time to put together something unique for every single post we want to create. So this could be, um, some of these tools could be something you use. Uh, you want to just be careful that, you know, you're not infringing on any uh, trademarks or um, things like that. But these tools, they've usually vetted it. It's, it's just like Unsplash. The photographers have given um, permission to use. So uh, free Feedly starts at $6 a month and choose um, all of the different blogs, public, uh, publications, and topics that you're interested in, and then platform um, aggregates them all into a recent content for those sites into the feed you can monitor. So when I recommend to clients about looking for uh, content about their industry, about their business, or their, their products and services, you're off, often following different blogs or you're following, you know, you have subscribed to e-newsletters so you can take some of that and, and repackage it and, and 
push it out through your social media platforms. And this is one that will then, you know, you put a topic in there and it'll drop down into your email box or into your feed and it'll give you uh, relevant information that you may want to repackage then for your, your social media platforms or blog or, or even use on your website. And then Google Alerts. I use this. It is a Google freebie. Um, you put in there, you, I don't put my name in there because I don't really want to know it being said about me, but I track different, uh, like um, for different uh, clients, I'm tracking their area or their industry, whether that's downtown revitalization, whether that's Arizona State Parks, whether that's California small business, um, small businesses, whatever it is, you type in and then when there is um, something that Google that it mentions that uh, topic, Google Alerts will let you know and it'll link you to whether it was a, a news article or it was a blog post or something that it doesn't go into the social media platforms, but it goes into, you know, rel news, usually news articles. So this is really um, key you just have to kind of like you know think about what how you want to put the words in there so that it drops the right information one of the areas that i monitor is called heritage fund well arizona heritage fund is doesn't have we have one but it doesn't have money so all of the heritage fund google alerts are about all over the nation so again you want to make sure that it's relevant to what you want to you know your 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 following and tracking Okay, so these are social media management. TweetDeck, free, manages mul multiple uh, Twitter accounts, schedule your tweets, and track mentions and hashtags. If you're a Twitter person and that's your platform of choice and you do a lot of it, I'm sure you're using this and find it extremely helpful. Um, Hootsuite is probably one that you hear over and over and over. Hootsuite has been around for a long time. They do have a free trial. Basic starts at $29 a month. If you are managing several different social media platforms or you're managing them for several, let's say five different clients and you need to track, then uh, you probably want to consider something like Hootsuite. Um, you manage social networks, schedule messages, engage your audience, measure ROI right from the dashboard. And then Buffer is another one like Hootsuite. Um, it starts at 15 a month and allows you to begin to schedule social media um, posts across a variety of uh, popular social networks. I am old fashioned and haven't used, I've used Hootsuite in the past, but now I just, uh, most of my clients are on, you know, one or two different um, social media platforms, the ones that I actually um, post for, um, nonprofits that are I'm, you know, working with or a business that I may be working with um, outside of the SBDC relationship. And so um, I haven't uh, invested in um, Hootsuite or Buffer. I'm beginning to think that I may because I'm starting to lose track and getting sidetracked because um, I'm on doing other virtual things. So these are uh, three of the uh, management. Okay, so I want to talk about customer service because so many of us have had to go and turn virtual um, and we're slowly coming back if you're a storefront or have a bricks and mortar location or an office building, but really um, virtual customer service is going to be around even after the pandemic. I'm hoping that businesses are getting more comfortable with it. There's quite a few free tools on social media platforms, whether that's direct message, WhatsApp, um, you know, uh, Twitter, Instagram, they all have these. Uh, so my recommendation to any business is that you always comment and always be tracking how people are engaging with you if they leave a comment or they direct message you right away. So if you're using those features, make sure that you're replying to them in a very quick time. If you're looking at wanting to pop something up on your website, um, live chat. It is a free trial. Um, basic starts at 16 a month. 
the passive chat box that lives on your page lets you your potential customers reach out to you some of um, to some of your service reps helping you efficiently answer questions and inquiries and i've found that with most of the websites that i'm going to these days most of them have this feature i mean we've seen it a lot with you know uh, a with a lot of our cell phone providers um, you know, chat with us now, um, you know, insurance, a lot of service-based businesses have had these uh, virtual uh, chat boxes and, and messaging boxes. And um, we are now seeing more and more of them popping up and even for uh, bricks and mortar type of businesses um, because of being more, uh, virtual, sheltered in place, more virtual people still a little bit uneasy visiting back. Um, to our um, businesses that have storefronts or office buildings because um, it's just been slower than we anticipated. Again, it sounds easy on the front load. On the back end, you probably have more details that you're going to have to do. You may need to upgrade in some software. You may need to make sure that your team knows how to respond to it, that they have the answers. You know, so that's the whole management piece. This is just the tool. And I really like this uh, little uh, Jerome's furniture. Um, not only do they have all of the financing, but they have some, you know, this is what it looks like right now. Shop now, have a question, text our furniture experts response quickly, comes right up onto their uh, website. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. Zendesk is a free trial. Plans vary. Again, provides a suite of tools that give your support teams up and responding to all of your customer needs. The platform um, aggregates all of your communication channels into one place, which makes it simple to respond to your emails, your phone calls, and your chats. Zen Desk, love the name of that one. Okay, so e-commerce. Another <laughs> Pandora's box, right? And we're very, very fortunate that we have a specialist on our team that is very comfortable with Shopify and across our wet network. Um, so Shopify is the one that I'm gonna talk about here first. Um, this is a, a subscription that starts at $24 a month. You do have a 14 day trial to see if you like it. I'm a thinking, um, well, okay. Uh, so a subscription to a software service that offers you to create a website and use their shopping cart solution to sell, ship, and manage your tools. Um, we uh, had a, have our uh, advisor, Megan, she did a webinar on Shopify. This is the link to the YouTube. You can go in and watch it. She's also going to be doing a regional wide webinar on September 29th as part of the NorCal Networks regional e-commerce um, uh, support and I would suggest that if you are considering e-commerce and you want to you know you have a you're thinking about Shopify you want to know more about it this would be a webinar you definitely want to participate in and or watch um, this one um, so will commerce the fees vary it's a customized open source e-commerce platform built on WordPress so if you are WordPress, you may be using this already. Um, I don't know much about it. I'm not an e-commerce specialist. Um, and then Squarespace has a basic commerce starts at $26, month, uh, $26 a month. It's a well-known website builder and has integrated e-commerce capabilities built into all of its business plans. I am familiar with Squarespace because that's what my, I built my website on out of default. I had one that I had for 15, 16 years. And it was, uh, you know, I had an area that I could change. For the most part, my website was really not an integrative website as a consultant. Um, I don't have products and services to sell. I don't, haven't written a book. I don't sell, you know, <laughs> me on, the, on my website. So I never had to use the e-commerce, but my website, unfortunately, um, was taken down because I didn't get an email about they need, I needed to invest another $800 into some upgrades. And so I had to rebuild it and I chose Squarespace and the template that they used. And yes, it was easy. A lot of work on my part though, right? 
just like anything, um, they have the template there, but you got to fill in the content. So again, uh, the Squarespace is a, uh, a website um, provider uh, like WordPress um, and like many of the others, but it also has e-commerce uh, uh, built into it. And it may be appropriate for you and may not. Um, so these are email marketing. Um, I'm always talking to my clients um, and, and telling them whether they're a for-profit business or a not-profit, you have to explore and start to implement some type of email marketing. Now these are um, email, two of them that I'm going to talk about, the two most popular in, uh, third party programs. Um, the first one that comes to mind is Constant Contact. Um, many of them that you get across your networks that are you've signed up for, subscribed for, given permission to subscribe to, um, and get their emails, use Constant Contact. And you can see they rebranded a couple years ago. So when you um, use one of these programs, um, this is the uh, Trinity County Arts Council. They put out uh, uh, and not over the top amount of emails uh, marketing that drop in, but really nicely done ones that are full of information about what's happening. And they always have the, the advantage of using a third party program as it has the uh, built in language that's required for you to unsubscribe. So Constant Contact gives you a 60 day free trial. Then it starts at $20 a month. They're, they have varying plans depending on what you, how many you're going to do, what you're what you need to, you know, your templates, how much you want to access it. What I like about them is it gives you easy access to keep tracking and reporting. You'll know how many were opened, how many click throughs were in, has built in social media sharing tools, free image library, list segmentation, which is really important. It can actually interface with your Facebook ads and it's a powerful e-commerce integration for Shopify stores. So it's a tool that enables you to then use e uh, email marketing across your other uh, uh, digital marketing strategies. Um, I use both of these. MailChimp is the other one. It offers a free subscription with limited features and then the basic plan starts at $9.90 a month. Um, it comes with an easy drag and drop email builder, um, auto responder, segmenting cont contracts into groups, and simple tracking for analytics. Um, it does integrate with WordPress and Shopify and some other platforms. Um, Zach, one of our advisors, he did a work uh, a training webinar on email services and compares three different email services. So I would recommend if you're considering one of the two or the third one that he um, uh, you, talks about in his webinar, go ahead and watch it on YouTube. He's, it's a fabulous um, webinar and it'll help you understand both of these. Now, again, just like everything else, these are templates. You have to have the content. What I like about using um, these programs or whatever program you choose is that once you set up your template, like I do a quarterly e-newsletter for four different clients. I have a template set up, it's all branded. I know kind of what I need to do for content, drop it in, spell check it to death, get the images, and then, you know, set up to be scheduled. And I, my list is 5,000 people. So I can segment that into, I want it to go to this, this group that was attended this um, conference. I want it to go to this group that is generally just our members. I have a, a group that's all media for press releases. So you can then design it and um, send it out to the group that you need it to. It's also, we have, um, there's templates for promotions. There's templates for all kinds of things in there. So I can't say enough about email marketing. Look into some kind of, okay, this is the miscellaneous bucket. <laughs> this one could go on for days, right? So um, Woodbox, is uh, has a free level. This is a easily create 
powerful contest sweepstakes coupons and more to grow your fans and amplify your marketing. I'm always, you know, how do I do a contest on social media? Um, how do I, you know, send it out? Well, this may be one that you want. If you do a lot of, of those type of campaigns, you may want to look at Ubox as, a, as an, a, a tool that you may want to try out at the free level, see what it offers, and then consider whether it's worth your investment. Uh, Bit.ly, of course, this is free with upgrade options. This is a link management platform that helps you shorten all of those URLs that may be really, really long and really you don't want them in your email marketing or you don't want them sitting on your, um, you know, in Twitter or in your uh, Facebook um, social media platforms or even on your website. And this helps shorten the URLs and uh, your links and then you can manage it and you can then use, um, you know, analyze them too. So this is used by a lot of businesses. And then you see these quite a bit. SurveyMonkey, love SurveyMonkey. I've used it for years. Um, the, and this is, uh, has free with limited features. You know, you can do a free one, ask 10 questions, they're very limited. Um, but then it starts at $32 a month. Um, these easily create surveys, quizzes, and polls for your audience. You can gather feedback via a web link, email, uh, mobile chat, social media, has new team plans where if you have several different folks that are involved in a survey, you can bring them in. Um, and then it analyzes the surveys and provides you great PDFs and charts and things. I do a lot of survey work for nonprofits and for for-profit clients because um, my other half of my business, I'm sometimes doing a survey for a downtown district on what they like about their downtown, what else do they want to see there. And, you know, with um, any kind of uh, more wanting more public uh, input. We always want to do a survey, a paper survey, um, and this is really easy to do because the client doesn't have to do it. I can do it. They help me with the questions. It's a link. Uh, people can access the survey right there um, from their home computer or their office computer. So um, SurveyMonkey is I'm, the one that I've started with and it's the one that I use. It's the one I'm familiar with. Like any digital tool, once you get really comfortable with it, it becomes your best friend. In the beginning, it may be your worst enemy because you're trying to figure it out and learn it. And um, for whatever reason, maybe your browser or you need to upgrade or you don't use Google, Google Chrome as much as you use another browser. So, you know, once you get comfortable with any of these tools, those are the ones you're going to navigate towards using, right? Um, YouTube Music, this is free. It's a royalty free stock music library and it's easily searchable using a large number of categories. So if you're going to be using music in any of your videos or your, your presentations, you're probably going to want to look at this. Facebook Business Manager is free. Um, and they just launched Facebook Suite. So you could, uh, I think they're trying to compete with Hootsuite. Um, so you can actually, Facebook Suite uh, puts your Instagram and your WhatsApp and your Messenger and all of that into one um, location. Facebook Man Business Manager manages all of your Facebook marketing and advertising activities. It's also where you control multiple users' access to your additional resources like your Instagram business account and product catalogs and even your business Facebook page. Um, this is something that I would strongly recommend all businesses to make sure you have, you're using it. Um, if you are just, you know, have one business page and you're the only administrator, then you're still going through your personal page and you're getting there. But if you're going to get into any advertising, you're going to be getting into doing any um, Facebook shop or uh, integrating that Facebook shop into your Shopify or into your e-commerce site, you're going to want to have business Facebook manager. Plus, if you have um, different folks that are doing things for you on your uh, for your Instagram or your Facebook business pages, this is where you want them to be, so that you give them permission at whatever level you want to give them, and then they access it through the Facebook Manager page. Grammarly is an application that will edit your content. 
You can write in the program, paste content in it, or utilize Grammarly's extension to help you edit your content. The application breaks down grammatical, gram, grammar and spelling issues. So, you know, I use spell check, but that doesn't always work. So you can use this, um, and I'm a terrible speller, so I should probably use this all the time, especially for your blogs. Um, here is more miscellaneous tools. Uh, Kajabi is an all-in-one online platform specifically designed for creating marketing and selling digital products for online courses. If you're a consultant and you want to, um, you're going to be uh, creating um, courses and you're going to be selling them, this would be something that you may want to consider. Teachable, create and sell online co courses and coaching. Undemy prices vary. Course, this is the world's largest selection of courses. So, if you are wanting to learn something new, or you want to kind of, you know, sharpen your your skills in some area, then there's 150,000 online video courses with new editions published each every month. And the courses are are, I'm sure, professional, taught um, by professions in their field and probably dive really deep and probably give you additional um, online type of support. And then Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people on topics, including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. You may wanna go on there and look about providing a class on Skillshare if you are creative in the creative uh, community. Whew. And then my last recommendation, and I, I got this from a colleague that is uh, an advisor down in uh, the San Francisco SBDC. He's <laughs> the funniest presenter, really very high energy. He's been in the field for years, an expert on all kinds of areas. And he highly recommends this book, How to Write Copy That Sells, the step-by-step -step system for more sales to more customers more often. So he says, if you want to sell, you need to know how to write the right kind of copy. And he highly recommended this book. Um, I have it ordered, haven't gotten it yet. Um, this is on adbooks.com. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon or whatever, but I, I wanted to recommend um, this book and, and he swears by it and says, you know, if we, you're not finding that you're selling as much through your, your content that you are either with your commerce store or your social media or even your website. Maybe it's the way that you know, you're, you're, you're selling it or you're um, communicating it. And this book he highly recommended. So I wanted to pass that on with, to you guys. And there we go. I do think we've made it to the end before we even ran out of time. How about that, David? I'm gonna go ahead and start my video. I see we have some chats here. Let me look at them. Um, so yes, you're gonna get slides. Uh, is there a charge for the use of Google Drive? No, there is not a charge for Google Drive. However, if you're going to allow um, different folks into your Google Drive, then there is a charge. But for me to have Google Drive, I have my own drive. And then if I share things to other people's drive, then, you know, or I, I get things and I slide it over to. If you want to have an organization that everybody is on that same Google Drive, then there is a charge for that. Oh, I see that Michelle answered. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, we've had a couple uh, where the uh, attendees have answered for us. So. I'm loving that. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, Stacy, thank you. About project management software, it's terrific. Um, Richard just uh, posted a question. Not sure. He says, I need to create a short three to four minute continuous loop video for a shoe repair shop's window display to advertise services to people passing by. What do you recommend for broadcasting? DVD player or a USB stick and stir it on a TV screen, sit on repeat setting? Oh, okay, Richard, that's a great question. Um, so are, do you have a website? If you have a website or if you have a Facebook business page or some kind of social uh, platform, you can record the video and then put it there. You can upload to YouTube. 
Um, you have one YouTube and then you have, you can, if you upload one YouTube video or video to YouTube, then you can have your own YouTube channel. You can create links to those. Um, so you're wanting to advertise your services to people passing by. Um, so you want to give it out like, um, I guess that that's a really good question. Can he, should we unmute him, David, or is that something we? I think I can. Okay. If I click the right button. Oh, so you want the loop to probably be playing in your on a television, right? Or your a computer, or you want that something in your window to talk about live. Yeah, I think that's what you mean, right? Yes, that's what I think you're looking for. Okay, yeah. So I would say either one, whatever you have and whatever you know is going to work for you. I know that a lot of times when I have gone to conventions or uh, conferences and I go into the exhibitor hall that many of them are looping something about their business, right? So whatever is you have at your access, I don't think it really depends whether it's DVD or it's on a computer or it's gonna be in a television, whatever is easy for you that is easily seen through the window display and or um, you know that that is large enough for people, it grabs their attention. Um, so that's what I, I, I don't think there's one, one right or wrong, just whatever is going to be, you know, most cost effective for you is going to have the highest impact and people can see it when they pass by. Um, and uh, we have another, just to recap, um, what in your opinion are the top five that we must use to connect with new customers? I have a home, a care home business. The top five, definitely some kind of email marketing mm -hmm. um, that, you know, that is if you can get the emails and you've collected emails, then that would be something that you can continue to, if you're like going out and you're doing, a, um, uh, you know, you're going to network and you're getting emails. Um, I would say definitely you're going to want to have a website, right? Um, because if you don't have a website, you don't have a business these days. So you really want to create your, your web presence where you can go deeper into um, about your policies um, and things about your business. And then social media, whatever you feel is going to connect with your person that's going to be making the decision about your home care business. If you're a business to business, um, and you need to get in front of practitioners to recommend, and that would be different than if you're going to be talking to family members. So again, you kind of look at your social media platform that you would want to use to grow, uh, to, you know, grow brand awareness. Um, so the, and then, you know, scheduling, doing those kind of um, type of uh, tracking things. I'm not sure if you're, what you're using, if you're, you know, we always recommend a digital tool, which isn't a digital tool, it's a program. And then um, I know we're going to be doing some uh, special workshop on Excel here in the future. So um, for new existing customers, you know, how are you, how are you getting out the word um, and following up pretty aggressively with any of your leads? Um, LinkedIn may be the fifth one. So, you know, I would say just think of the high level ones and then go deeper into where you would need to for management of your business, for management of your one social media platform, um, those type of things. Hope that answers your question. Is there a cap on uh, the number of emails that can be sent per month for these email service providers? No, there is not a cap, but the pricing range may vary. Um, like, you know, MailChimp is free for a certain amount, but that after you reach the cap, then there's a, there's a cost. And, you know, the cost, in my opinion, for everything that if you're really going to use email marketing for everything that they provide is well worth the investment. Again, if you don't use it, then it's kind of like a waste of money, right? Yeah. How easy is it to migrate from one email provider to another? Very easy. Um, and you should buy just um, good practices. You can, um, on any of the email providers that I'm familiar with, you can download as an Excel or a CVS your email list. You own the list, so, um, but 
the third party program, you're housing it there. So uh, you would want to probably um, every six months download your list just to have a backup. Um, in, in my opinion, because I had somebody actually take down my list accidentally and I thank goodness was able to rebuild it. So that was a lesson learned, but it's very easy to go from one, um, uh, from one, um, email provider to another. Or if you have like, for example, if you uh, attend a conference and you get all the emails um, in a CVS or an Excel, you can upload those to your list as long as you have permission, right? Hey, great. That's okay. uh, pretty close. It. It's, uh, it's noon on, in California. So uh, let me reiterate with a couple of things. First, thank you very much, Lonnie. Uh, very much appreciate you doing this. You guys will be getting a copy of the presentation that'll come by email and there will be an important link on that email. That'll be a link to an evaluation, probably in SurveyMonkey as it happens. Uh, <laughs> but we would very much appreciate it if you would fill that out. It's how we try to improve. And uh, it also helps uh, with the SBA um, uh, that lets them know that we're actually doing some something decent with their money, I suppose. Anyway, and if you, uh, have an interest in any of our other webinars, you can check our website, sbdcsc.org, and there's a calendar of events there. Um, we have one final question. Uh, what were methods that you said to track, to best track the responses, either email, social media, et cetera? Do you see that? I do see that. Oh, uh, responses. Well, um, I'm thinking you mean responses like um, Hootsuite? I think it would be Hootsuite. Hmm. Yeah, because that, that is across social media. Yeah. Comprehensive point system, something like that. Did I mention that? <laughs> Sorry, I may, I may need to respond to her offline, so I'm kind of... We are, uh, by the way, we're, we're, we will be taking uh, the things in the chat and uh, sending those to you guys, too, uh, just so that we have all of the contributions that uh, the audience made in the chat. And uh, any questions like this one, Lonnie will, uh, uh, can address. Oh, if, okay. Uh, yeah, and I'll answer that question. Uh, in um, the when I res in the I respond to your chat. I know what you mean now, so I will answer that question. All right. And if you want to meet with Lonnie, that's how you do it. Contact Emily uh, at NorCal SBDC uh, or an SBDC office in your area. You can find it on that one. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, David. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>